good evening to everyone <coughs> how are you guys doing hopefully you are doing good uh let's start with shaktaka please type in the chat box okay that's good so let me share my screen so that i can see whether you are getting clear picture of my screen so can you see my screen now good that's good so, and you can hear my voice also so let's start with today's topic so uh, we we started about indices in last uh, lecture and now we will go further like what are the indices and cube root um, last time we discussed about some laws of indices uh, like uh, there are total eight laws which we discussed in last lecture and uh, we have come across like how to solve the, these problems using this laws i he je problems hai te apan bagitle te he laws use karun kashe solve karta yetil te apan gela lecture madhe bagitlela hai so let's go further uh and we will start with uh, meaning of numbers with rational indices so meaning of numbers with when the index is a rational number of the form 1 by n so ata apan he baguya ki jar ghatanga chi niyam mhanje ghatanga vagare bagitle apan right indices so if it is in uh, rational form rational number so what does it mean so they have given uh, explanation about that so jar ghatank apurnanga cha rupat astil tar te tancha arth kay hoto te apan baguya so let's go quickly over uh, this rational numbers as we discussed uh, in earlier some of the classes that these are the rational numbers which we can write down in the form of denominator as well as nominator so here we know that 1 by 2 1 by 3 1 by 5 and 1 by n n is any number okay so these rational numbers if we write in the form of indices then what does it mean so uh, let's see uh, we will try to mention here or try to see that how how does it changes the meaning of indices so still now till now we were writing like uh, phi phi raised to 2 right what we know is phi into phi but instead of that if phi raised to 1 by 2 what does it mean okay or 25 25 is the right number because it has the whole square so let's see what is mean by 25 raised to 1 by uh, 25 raised to 1 by 2 okay so uh, generally uh, here it is written that square root of 25 25 raised to 1 by 2 what does it mean 1 by 2 gives the square root okay so 1 by 2 give us if indices is 1 by 2 it means square root okay and uh, square root and uh, the sign radical sign for uh such type of thing is given as this okay so whenever there is 25 raised to 1 by 2 then we can write in terms of this sign also okay so both the meaning same so if we want to write in this format or this format is perfectly okay and what does it mean it is mean square root of
square root of whatever the number inside that sign. So, at that point, we have seen that if a number is a number of the cell one by two, so what does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? Panchvisa square root, kima vargamud. So, ani tachasati he sign a he, he sign bagushakta to me. So, he has sign cha under mother japana cell, he's artha kayoto, ter heta vargamud. So, panchvisa vargamud kasta, paths. Okay, so he's a utter the rapan gareta mudla, ter pathsi, pun. Zer mea dogan sa artha kayoto, mea panchvis. Raise to when you punch one by two is equal to square root of 25. When you work a mood of punch with had one answer the same with the hair put a and kick the nilly lila hey key cube root at the up and cube root baggage or sale that that's art the take us a little that the the quantity pan sank has a that that's a one by three. ओके वन बाय थ्री आता अपन वन बाय टू बगीत ला वन बाय थ्री वन बाय थ्री तो अर्थ मंजे घनमूल ओके व्हाट डज इट मीन क्यूब रूट क्यूब रूट ला मराठी वर्ड है घनमूल सो दिस आल्सो वी कैन राइट इन दिस टू वेज लाइक इनसाइड द ब्रैकेट इनसाइड दिस साइन एंड थ्री थ्री रिप्रेजेंट्स द इट्स क्यूब रूट Okay, or we can write in this fashion also, where it's written like a raised to one by three. So there are different way to write uh, uh, this type of uh, uh, numbers. So they have given us two uh, diff two ways. So we can write like somewhere like a raised to point three 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 three, right? But Generally, we will avoid this because uh, uh, one by three uh, uh, writing because this may be in advanced uh, mathematics somewhere. But right now, we will focus on this two only. Okay. So let's move further. Uh, and now, now we know that what does it mean and uh, how how these are written. So let's see the example here. They have mentioned. And an example did happen above so we know that 4 raised to 3 manjaka is the 4 into 4 into 4 they, they have written is this for three times right three times so this what is the answer 64 so if we take cube root of 64 how old so we can write in two ways right 64 uh, root uh, sorry it's cube root of 64 or 64 raised to 1 by 3. So we know that answer for this is 64 raised to 1 by 3 is equal to 4. Similarly, if we are writing this is like 3 raised to 5, right? Here, 3 is written in the uh, 3, multi 3 is multiplied for 5 times. So the digit becomes three raised to five. So what is the answer? 243. So what does it mean? Fifth power of three is 243. Similarly, fifth root of 243. So now we are taking the fifth root of 243, which we can write in two ways. 243 raised to one by five, or fifth root of 243. So Writing this in sentence is like fifth root of 243. Okay, so in 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 uh, we can see in the uh, uh, this sign inside the sign uh, there is 243 and outside there is they have written small digit that is called phi. So phi represents the which root, right? Fifth root. So fifth root of 243. So it means 243 raised to one by five is equal to three. So in general, nth root of any number, okay, is expressed as a raised to one by n, or we can write, we know the, uh, uh, we, we know the sign, so we can write like this way, okay? So let's go uh, some, <coughs> how, how to 
राईट इन वर्ड फॉर्मॅट हे वर्ड्समध्ये कसं लिहायचं असतं ते बघूया वन ट्वेंटी एट रेस टू वन बाय सेवन मीन्स सेवन्थ रूट ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी एट सो एकशे अठ्ठावीसचं आपण घातांकाला काय आहे वन बाय सेवन सो वॉट डज इट मीन ह्याचा अर्थ होतो सेवन्थ रूट ऑफ सेवन्थ रूट ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी एट सिमिलरली नाईन हंड्रेड रेस टू वन बाय ट्वेल्व वॉट डज इट बिगिन्स ट्वेल्थ रूट ऑफ नाईन हंड्रेड <clears throat> so then so this way we can write or we can uh, we can understand the what does it mean okay so they have given one small uh, way to represent so suppose 10 raised to 1 by 5 is equal to x then x raised to 5 is equal to 1 by 2 so uh, i will i will show you a small way to how how this becomes so we know that 10 10 raised to 1 by 5 right is equal to x so we know that on both side we can multiply we can divide or we can add a, uh, we can add something or we can subtract something right so it should be equal number means whatever we do suppose if we multiply this into phi so we should multiply here also with phi right so value of this equation doesn't change we know this rule from uh, uh, many standards right so so what i will try to do uh, i will i will try to show some <coughs> uh, okay so similarly uh, if so i want to uh, i know that it may not be given in the uh, textbook but just for information purpose so if we take square or uh, take a fifth root uh, sorry take a, uh, take a square take a cube or any any number right so it should not change so if we take like on both the side if we take a raised to 5 right so what i am trying to do on the both side i am making it square or cube set that way i am making it up to the 15 indices okay so or fifth power so what 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 so we know the rule right on on the here we can apply the indices rule so 10 raised to 1 by 5 into 5 what will become it will go and it will become 10 on 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 right side it will become x raised to 5 okay so on the both side if you want to make a power power should be same right see so the value or equation sign will not change so this is one of the way they have shown here see so 10 raised to 1 by 5 is equal to x and if we take fifth power on the both side then it will become x raised to 5 is equal to 10 so this also you can think of or you can use in your mathematics okay so let's see uh, we will go further आपण पुढे बघूया सो लेट्स ट्राय टू ट्राय टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॅक्टिस सेट्स सो आय नो दॅट इट मे बी डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू गाईज टू राईट इन द दिस फॉर्मॅट बट आय विल गिव्ह यू ट्रिक हाऊ टू राईट सो वेन एव्हर यू राईट इन कम्प्युटर लँग्वेज सो ऑलवेज इफ देर आर इंडायसेस suppose uh, i want to write 5 raised to 3 okay so if we want to write in computer language right how will we write in chat box so 5 and there is sign toggle right 3 okay or if you are doing from mobile and it's difficult to find out the uh, this key then you can write 5 comma 3 so that i can understand whether you are following uh <clears throat> what i am talking right 
सो मी आता जे पण प्रश्न विचारेन तर तुम्ही फाईव्ह रेस टू थ्री असेल तर फाईव्ह टोगल थ्री लिहू शकता किंवा फाईव्ह कॉमा थ्री लिहा सो दॅट आय विल अंडरस्टँड दॅट यू हॅव यू आर फॉलोईंग म्हणजे तुम्ही व्यवस्थित समजून घेत आहे वॉट मी जे पण सांगतोय ते सो फाईव्ह टोगल थ्री लिहा फाय रेस टू थ्री असेल अँसर किंवा फाय कॉमा थ्री लिहा ओके थ्री शुड बी इंडायसेस ऑर इट शुड बी अ पॉवर नंबर ओके सो लेट्स सी आता सिमिलरली आय नो देर मे बी क्वेश्चन लाईक सपोज इफ देर इज समथिंग लाईक वन ट्वेंटी एट रेस टू वन वन बाय सेवन सो जनरली हाऊ डू यू राईट वन ट्वेंटी एट टू गेल वन बाय सेवन ओके if you can't if you it's difficult to find a toggle key on mobile then you can write 128 comma 1 by 7 okay so we can communicate with each other through chat very well so this is just for writing in this chat box don't write in your question uh, uh, whenever there is exams don't write this way okay this is the computer language and we are communicating through computer and through chat box so i am giving you the way to communicate with me so that's why uh, this is the method here so me tumcha barobar computer cha madhyamatun bolnyacha prayatna kartoy apan chat box madhe tumhi lihal uttara त्यासाठी मी तुम्हाला ही वे सांगतोय की कसं लिहायचं वन ट्वेंटी एट टॉगल की वन बाय सेवन ऑर वन ट्वेंटी एट कॉमा वन बाय सेवन पण तुम्ही पेपरमध्ये तुमच्या एक्झाममध्ये असं प्लीज लिहू नका ओके सो लेट्स ट्राय टू सॉल्व सम एक्झाम्पल्स लाईक इफ वी वॉन्ट टू राईट फॉलोइंग नंबर सिक्स रूट ऑफ नाईन सो हाऊ विल यू राईट कॅन यू प्लीज टाईप इन द चॅट बॉक्स सिक्स रूट ऑफ नाईन ओके कॅन यू टाईप इन द चॅट बॉक्स प्लीज सिक्स रूट ऑफ नाईन Mhm so people are started writing answer that's great Yeah that's good that you are following the what I am trying to say like did this means ninth raise to 1 by 6 Okay so that's good so if i change the question from this question if i say that 6th power of 9 what does it mean can you write in the chat box so now i have changed question a bit like 6th power of 9 i always see some people only try to uh, answer so this class is for everyone so i feel that everyone should participate here so please try to answer in the chat box there are a few students only always uh, give their answers uh, so all are requested please write your answers in the chat box so that you know if it is wrong that's fine don't don't get uh, uh, you know uh, do, means if you are feeling shy or anything please write in the chat box uh, so that i will i will understand that uh, whether you are following it or not so that i can help you out right so this class is not only for uh, that time i keep on talking when me fakta bol do ani tumhi fakta ikta so this is j- only for i mean this is for like one one type of discussion right so 
I can see there are like 16 or 17 students, right? So please write down your answer like sixth power. It's not sixth root, it's sixth power, right? So there are so many students. So please type in the chat box. So sixth power of six, uh, sorry, sixth power of nine becomes nine raised to six, okay? So it's not difficult, but nine raised to, sorry. Nine raised to six, okay? So this is sixth power of nine. Okay, so let's move further. So, square root of 256, okay? So what is mean by square root of 256 is we can write square root of 256. How to write in the, uh, like there are multiple ways, but uh, I have shown you one way. So if that is the way, then can you write in the chat box? square root of 256. That's correct, 256 raised to one by two, square root of 256. That's good, 256 raised to one by two one by two, or we can write in different way also, 256, okay? So now we know the, uh, like how to write uh, this in different format, right? So let's, I will, I will pose one question for you. Um, so now we know that, uh, okay. Uh, okay, so this is the one question, right? If we want to write like nth root of a, so how will you write this? 49 raised to one by two, please write in the chat box. Then I will, I will pose one different question for you. Let's see. So 49 raised to one by two, how to write in this fashion, like nth root of a. How will you write? It's second root of 49, that's good. Second root of 49, that's good. Someone is writing square root of first power of 49. That is also correct, but see, always we have to write convenient way, right? So this is also right, this is not wrong, but we have to write in some different, like whatever the easiest way. So how will you write nth root of a, like square root of 49. We know first power is always there, so we should, we, we can omit that part, right? Okay, so, okay, now, so we know the 49 raised to one by two, we can write square root of 49 or second root of 49. So what is the answer? Can you write in the chat box? What is the answer for this? Square root of 49. What is the answer? If you solve it, what will be the answer? Seven, that's good. Mm -hmm. Is there any other option? I am asking you. Is there only answer seven? Fakta seven is hecha answer aheka. Dusra ka answer asu shakta.
हम्म ओके दुसरं काही आन्सर असू शकत का स्क्वेअर रूट ऑफ फोर्टी नाईन तुम्ही सर्वांनी लिहिलं सात सेव्हन राईट इज देर एनी अदर आन्सर फॉर दिस so let's see now that was the tricky question for you guys i know but i am just trying to uh, giving you thoughts like this is the uh, way we should think like is there any other answer okay so square root of 49 i think pramod has given right answer that is minus 7 so square root of 49 we know the 7 right but there is another answer like minus 7 also if we write minus 7 into minus 7 how, what is the answer 49 so whenever there is a square root of any digit there may be there may be another uh, uh, answer right they they're like 7 and comma minus 7 okay so whenever uh, you guys have this problem posed like 49 square root of 49 then you can write 7 or minus 7 okay so okay it's not pramod this is nandini sorry for that uh, i might have missed the name but yeah nandini uh so that's right answer so whenever there is a square root you can have two answers 7 comma minus 7 so okay so i will i will pose another question here like square root of 256 what is the answer right what will be the answer now you know the two format so you can write square root of 256 becomes no 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 i, I don't need in the index format but what is the answer like for what square root of 49 we wrote, uh, wrote like 7 and minus 7 right similarly for square root of 46 256 how can you write that's fine i mean uh, i'm okay so only 16 that's what like i just told you right there may be some answer so i need both the answer from you guys so you can write in like i i shown you right in the comma format so people are writing but see square root of 256 is 16 and minus 16 okay so now you got the answers right so whenever there is square root of 256 you will have always two answers 16 and minus 16 okay so uh, see uh, uh, guys uh, for for you all of you um whatever they have shown here in the textbooks i am i'm trying to follow same thing but there are certain uh different or more information i always give you right i always try to give you so these are the like i i don't think so that it is mentioned in in this book so uh but uh, as far as i know because i have done some advanced study so i am giving you more information so that it sometimes if you write in this fashion you may not get uh right uh, marks i feel or you may have some issue with your professors also in your school teachers but that's fine okay um, as far as your fundamentals are clear you can succeed in your life the vidyamcha life madhe pure jaau shakta so don't worry about that about 
uh, marks you are getting like whatever you have written like 16 comma minus 16 then also you didn't get the answer uh, you didn't get the marks that's fine okay but i'm i'm what i'm giving you is fundamental which is valid throughout the uh, this mathematics community okay so let's go further i will i will pose another problem for you like i will give you very very simple problem so can you solve this so i have shown you right uh, how to write uh, like two ways and everything so what is the answer for cube root of nine cube root of nine the way i have explained you right square root of 256 so what is the answer for cube root of nine please write in the chat box if you have any question that also you can write in the chat box so what is answer cube root of nine i need answer so both the answer please write in the way i, I shown in earlier example right 16 comma minus 16 for root of 256 similarly for cube root of 9 what will be the answer mm -hmm. people are writing 3 minus comma 3 comma minus 3 please write down the answers think what what is the answer cube root of three so other students also please write down their answers in the chat box i know that whatever the theory or the thing what i taught you just now like square root of 256 can be 16 comma minus 16 whether that theory applies to cube root also right so people are not writing their answer in the chat box Please try to, whatever the answer, no one is going to uh, punish you or anything, right? You can answer, you can write in the chat box. If there, that is wrong, I will, I will tell you, I'm here for you guys. So don't worry about wrong or right answer. Please write in the chat box. Okay. Please write in the chat box what is the answer for cube root of nine okay so people are writing three comma minus three so only three is the answer okay there is no minus three here so please try to understand what does it mean what is the basic fundamental behind this so we they have asked the question cube root of nine right so what does it mean like if you write okay i will clear i will try to write in again so what is the question asked cube root of nine and answer is only three no comma minus three okay why so whenever you have such type of problems just try to uh, check or validate whatever the result you have got right or not so that is another way of 
uh, scientific research or whatever you think, right? Whether what is the answer you got, whether that is right or wrong. Okay, so let's check. So if I write three, oh, sorry, I'm, I'm really sorry. That is the wrong thing I have posted here. I'm very, very sorry. So what should be the answer? Yeah, this is the question. This is the question. I'm, I'm really sorry for that. I miscalculated something. So it's cube root of 27. So no comp minus three here. Only three or no minus three. I'm just asking the question for you guys. Yeah, that's the question. That's what I'm asking. Why not minus three? Yeah, minus three will not come here. That's correct, Nandri. So uh, and I'm sorry for earlier miscommunication. So this is the question, like cube root of 27. So answer goes as three. So uh, I, I told you, right, always validate the answers. So yeah, I, while validating, I came to know that, OK, there is some issue. OK, so cube root of 27 becomes 3. OK, so if you write, if what is that means, whatever the answer you got, it's right or wrong, how can you write 3 into 3 into 3? So you will get the answer 27. But if you write minus three, minus three and minus three, then it becomes minus 27, okay? So I asked you cube root of positive value of 27. So answer is positive three. There will not be negative three. So this is the way. So what we understood from this, that whenever there is a square root, like square root of nine, so there will be two answers, three comma minus three. But if it is cube root, there will be only one answer. And cube root of, cube root of minus 27 will be answer minus three. Okay, so just for your information, and uh, this is the way, uh, so I'm teaching you mathematics, but uh, this is not the, uh, like, just try to understand the fundamentals behind the uh, square root or what is meant by indices, okay? So let's move further. Hopefully you understand the, uh, when to use uh, means when when will you get the answer minus negative or positive okay so let's see uh, so here they are mentioning about uh, if the index is in the rational form like m divided by n so till now we have seen the indices like one by n right there was no number on the top numerator so let's see uh, what what does it mean so we know that it is to 2 it's 64 and cube root of 64 it's written like 64 raised to 1 by 3 and that is 4 so 64 raised to one by three becomes eight square, right? So 64, nothing but eight square. So eight square root of one by three becomes four. So cube root of square of eight is four. This way also we can write. 
similarly cube root of 8 is 2 so square root of cube root of 8 square of cube root of 8 is 4 so see the way they are writing so they are writing this value as well as these values okay so you can write uh, both the way like cube root of square or square of cube root that's not a matter okay so let's see how we can write in different way so cube root of square of 8 is equal to square of cube root of 8 okay so both are the same only thing which things come first right so here here it is cube root first then cube root of square of 8 right here first one is outer like outermost of the bracket we have to take first so square of cube root of 8 right both are the same the rules of indices are the same for the integral indices so we know this rule right a raised to m bracket raised to n so that is mean by a is equal to m into n similarly we are trying to write this in this format so what does it mean 8 raised to 2 by 3 what does it mean so we can write like square of cube root of 8 or we can write cube root of square of 8 so any any format is okay so there are two meanings right they have written here it it raised to 2 by 3 so how do you prefer to write like cube root of square of 8 or square of cube root of 8 both are right so let's go further we will try to solve uh, to understand this type of problem okay. so they have given one small problem in terms of m and n so generally so if a raised to m by n so we can write in different fashion a raised to m and out the bracket one by n we can write nth root of mth power of a or we can have another way to write this down like a raised to m by n so is equal to a raised to one by n outside the bracket raised to m it means mth power of nth root of a okay so let's try to solve some problems here so that we will have understanding whether we are following the right path or not so can you write down the for this in this format okay power of root can you write in the chat box So first, here we have to follow numerator like 6 and then root on the denominator, okay? So this way, can you write in the chat box? I can see only three students have written their answer. All other are please write down their answers. Only four students.
other students also please write down their answers in chat box it's fine if that's not the right answer that's okay but at least you are participating in the class right till now only five students have given the answers so including me there i can see total number of 11 people are there so i feel there are 10 students and only six students have answered the question so others please write down their answers it's not difficult also ek hai woda difficult to nahi hai so so tumhala lihayche hai ki 81 raised to 6 by 7 manje ka hai so there are two ways i am i'm just following only one way so yeah all like six students have answered the question and uh, that's right like 6 power of 7th of 7th root of 81 okay so we will we'll try to solve another one in different way means yeah so now you will write in this fashion please write in the chat box so if we start with the root of the power then what will be the how, how to write in the statement format okay please write in the chat box So four students have given the answer. There is some confusion. Like this is seventh root of which power? Some people are writing sixth power. Some people are writing third power. So. there will be only one answer right there will be one right answer so seventh root of third power of 21 okay this is not sixth power so please note down this thing so seventh root of third power of 21 okay so let's move it mm. okay so uh, we have given some statement and whether you can write and interpret what they are writing so can you write in the chat box here you don't have to you know i already explained you about uh, how to write in the chat box yeah that don't don't uh, be a sorry uh, that's fine i know we are humans and we tend to make errors so that's okay i also made a mistake right today uh, i instead of writing cube root of 27 i gave you the question like cube root of 9 so that's fine okay uh so this is the way we have to keep learning okay so yeah that's fine uh, we have uh, we we understood that the answer for this is seventh root of third power of 21 so we are done with that now i have explained you how to write in the chat box 
if I ask some questions regarding this indices, right? So you can use toggle key or you can use comma to separate between the indices and the base value. So can you write this in the chat box? Cube of cube root of three. Please write in the chat box. Mm -hmm. It was a bit tricky, but yeah, I think you got the crux. So, yeah, that's correct. Whatever you guys are writing, it's correct. So that, what does it mean? Three raised to three by three. So what does it mean? So answer will be three only because this will get cut down and you will get three, okay? But that's fine. Okay, let's move further. Yeah, I think, yeah, whatever I mentioned you guys about that negative one, it is written here. So 4 into 4, 16 implies 4 square is equal to 16. Similarly, minus 4 raised to 2 is equal to also 16. So conventionally, if you have the square root of any value, there will be two numbers, 4 and minus 4. Okay. So, so what positive root of 16 is shown as uh, square root of 16. So what they have given to, uh, okay, I will, I will show you. So the thing is like, they have made some convention here so that you will follow the same convention. So whenever they are asking the question like what is mean by 16 root root of 16 so i told you like 4 comma minus 4 right but as for this book okay according to this book what we have to follow the convention if they ask the question root of 16 you should write 4 if they ask minus outside not inside okay please be careful if they ask negative of root 16 then you should answer minus 4. so that's what convention they are following and as you are in eighth standard and uh, you are appearing the exam for this book okay so you have to follow this book okay so this is also right according to mathematics but we have to follow the conventions whatever the book has given so Whenever they ask the question root of 16, positive value, then you should write four. If they ask negative of root 16, then you should write minus four. So please be careful. Though this is correct, but you have to follow this convention. Okay, so hopefully you got my, uh, what, whatever I'm telling you, uh, it's, you got it right. So let's, move further so one thing you have to note down here like it is not minus 16 okay this is wrong okay they have not mentioned here and this is very very complex and you will learn after 10th not till then okay so there are two ways they can ask a question like root of 16 or minus root of 16 okay so if they ask this then you can write four positive four and if they ask this you can write minus four okay very good 
So they have mentioned, right? Yeah, 16 has two square roots, one positive and one other negative. So it's whatever we are following is right. But for convention and for this book, they are trying to separate both the terms so that it will be easy for you guys. They are not making it difficult, right? Okay. So this has to be mentioned, like every positive number has two square roots, okay? So that's what we studied or just now we have discussed, right? That every positive number, like if it is 16 or nine, it has two square roots. 4 minus 4 but for convention and for convenience uh, we are following different methodology here that's you have to understand there that you have to follow that's it so what is square root of 0 it's 0 only okay so let's move further I think, um, okay, so this is a bit uh, different. So we will keep it for next lecture, like cube and cube root, we will start from here. Till then you can do practicing on these problems. And if you have any questions, you can email me or you can write it down, okay? Uh, so uh, that's all for today's and thank you have a great evening see you in the next class and please leave the class because according to Tuckley, sir, i have to leave the last so i'll be the last person